Hello, and thank you for joining us on Inside the Nest. I'm Jack Barta. After an almost nine-month layoff, the Panzer Athletic Center is finally getting set to see some action this week as the men's basketball team returns to the hardwood. On Thursday at 6 p.m., the Red Hawks will take the floor for their inter-squad scrimmage. Coming into the season, the team will have to fill the void of five seniors who each started 15 games or more last season. It will be very interesting to see who steps up. One of the biggest stories to watch is the return of Miles Mitchell White. The former NJAC Rookie of the Year is back in red for the first time. Definitely a welcome sight. The Red Hawks Sports Network will have full coverage of the event, and you can find that on our YouTube channel, Red Hawks Sports Network, or on MontclairAthletics.com. Speaking of the men's basketball team, in the lead up to the season, Coach Potts and his men have been working hard to prepare on the court, but they have also been growing off the court, thanks in part to Hawk Talks. Last season, the Montclair State men's basketball team welcomed in new head coach Justin Potts from Moravian. After attending a few practices, there is a clear message that Coach Potts was trying to ingrain in his players, and that was habits. Not just the word, but the acronym. I'm an English major, so I'm a big, uh, uh, I'm an avid reader and a, and a quote guy. And the the quote they hear most often from me is, first you make your habits, then your habits make you, right? So what you're doing every day is going to eventually show up in the most crucial moments. Um, but then we took the word and broke it down. So the H is heart, right? We want guys to love what they're doing, whether it be academically or being on the basketball court. The A is appreciation, have an appreciation to, to wear a Montclair State uniform and, and represent it the right way. The B is brotherhood, just look out for each other, whether it be on the floor, running and picking a guy up when he dies or you know, be off the floor and helping guys in study hall or anything like that. The I is invest. Invest into yourself first and foremost so that you can you have the, the career and get the degree you want. Um, but more importantly, invest into what we're all doing collectively. Um, the T is toughness. You know, as I always joke about, if you're going to play in the end, Jack, you better have it. Um, you know, for us, it's more mental toughness. Can you be a legit man every day? Can you be the same guy and, and be, you know, accountable to what, what everybody else needs you to do? And then the S is sacrifice. The more sacrifices we make collectively, the better off we'll be as a program. You know, um, really, it's just um, all about building habits together because um, if you build the right habits, then your habits are going to make who you become. So when you build the right habits, you're going to become something great. And I think that's what we, what coaches instill us, in us every single day, um, going as hard as we can in every drill, um, you know, move, uh, sprinting um, at all times. And I think that um, tr translates out to the real world, you know, do everything as hard as you can, do everything to the fullest, and build habits because once you build those good habits, they'll make you. And for Coach Potts, as he said, it's not just the habits on the court that are important, but also the habits off the court. And that was one of the driving thoughts behind the birth of Hawk Talks. Every month, Coach Potts welcomes a different guest speaker over Zoom to enlighten his men on the topics of finance, social justice, leadership, and much, much more. In the first Hawk Talk, Lucy Fullylove, a senior compensation consultant, and Jose Preza, a global university recruiter, both from Danaher, join the team to discuss the hiring process. Well, hopefully, you know, we, we've provided some, some tidbits, some guidance, right? Again, this was not meant to say, to do anything, but to really be here to support you guys and, and figure out where we can provide a little extra guidance from a resume, interview perspective. Um, we will provide the presentation. So you guys will have this. This will, coach will get it. We'll give them our email address. Um, and then we are here. The, the most important part of these, uh, this program is to learn something that's going to help you fulfill your dream. These Hawk Talks are just another step by Coach Potts and his staff to create a family-like atmosphere amongst his team. Not only does he push them to be their best as players, but as people too. And the players respond, giving 100% in return. So, I mean, we could go to them for absolutely anything. Um, and we are one big family, and that's how we treat it. Um, coaches do an awesome job, um, you know, keeping in touch with us, uh, even through the pandemic. I would still, we'd still hear from them once a week. They'd still be on us. Uh, they got our backs at all times. So if we need anything at all, they're, they're always here for us, and we're always here for them. And the way we, we repay them is that we, we give it all we got on the court. So um, that's pretty much how our relationship with them works. We're, we're relationship guys. That's kind of how we coach our guys and, and help them grow and develop. And one of the the things we talk about even in the recruiting process is we're going to coach you right if you don't want to be coached this would be a bad decision and that's not just basketball
basketball. That's we're going to try to do what we can for you academically to get you in the right right situation. We're going to try to grow and develop you as a person, um, and and that's the most important thing. You know, I, I say all the time I'm a basketball coach, but that's not really why I do it. Um, you know, I do it to help young guys kind of chase their dreams and what and whatever they want to do in life because I'm able to live mine. It's rare for a college team to have a pair of siblings playing together. This year, Montclair's volleyball team will be featuring the Watermans. Incoming freshman Kelly and junior Carly look forward to sharing the same court playing the game that they fell in love with. It's interesting. Um, it's sometimes like we get mad at each other, but it's always nice to know I have someone on the court with me. Uh, no one in our family played volleyball. Growing up, we both played in a wide variety of different sports. Always being able to be active was really nice, but I think I just always in my heart had more of a love for volleyball than any other sport I've ever played. Volleyball was more fun for me and I just loved it more. So I went towards volleyball and just kept going. The Waterman sisters have been working hard to prepare for their season that has been postponed to the spring due to COVID-19. No matter what I'm doing, uh, like work or homework, I always feel like I put 100% into it, just making sure that I'm on top of different things. And I think that's just a result from volleyball. I'm excited to like start playing on a college like level because this is like new. Mm -hmm. And I'm sort of excited to like be with the team and like my sister and just like, it's all new and I'm excited for that. Yeah, I think I'm excited to see what's going to happen since this is something like we've never dealt with before. So especially having like a spring season and even just being with the girls, like I miss seeing them every day and actually being able to like high five them and huddle with them and doing just like things we did before COVID. On the volleyball court isn't the only time they spend together. With Thanksgiving right around the corner, the Wittermans will be enjoying time with family at their home. We keep it small. It's just us and our parents. We just kind of like spending time, the four of us. And especially now that we're both in college, kind of just like, since we're both away from our parents, being able to like spend that time with them is really nice. John Kosaban here to talk about November 16th, 2019, when Red Hawks football matched up with Kane University in the final game of the season, down 6-0 in the second and blocking the field goal that was Rodney DePrenda Jr. breaking through the middle and Kaysan Campbell chasing it down and bringing it into Cougars territory. Ultimately setting up this play, Jaquil Birch tries to take it up the middle, but the line bends, so what does he do? He improvises, bouncing to his right in a wide arc that finds the front corner of the end zone, an eight yard score and an extra point that would give Montclair the lead. And they would never even get close so looking back, you'll see what I mean starting here in the third, play action and a quick lob over the defender and into the arms of Dante Fletcher, good for Birch's 15th and final passing TD of the season and a 17-6 lead that would only get bigger and it did so just over a minute later, Cougars punting but it's blocked by Zahir Wilder, loose ball is scooped up by Jair Garrett and he takes it 26 yards to the house and it becomes clear that the cats from Kane are caged up in this Thunderdome with no end in sight. And when I say Thunderdome, I mean it, because this next play had the crowd going absolutely bonkers. That's running back Ralph McLean launching one 38 yards to Mitch Chuganoff, who, by the way, had six catches for 146 yards and that touchdown. Fun moment right there for the senior McLean in his last game. And also having fun was Brennan Ray. You're about to watch him pull off a pick six. He would do the same to a two point conversion later in the game. Final score, 40 to 12. Montclair finishes the season six and four, good for third in the NJAC. And it's officially been a year since there's been Red Hawk football at Sprague. Here's to hoping we see more of this kind of play in the spring. Hi, I'm Sonny Bartel with this week's social media post of the week. This one brought to you by the Montclair State Women's Volleyball Instagram page. Go give them a follow. 
Four years ago, the MSU women's volleyball team had a year to never forget as they broke their record for most wins in a season and received a regional ranking. It was a season in which the Eddie Stowinski led squad went 26-9 and 6-2 in the NJAC, eventually winning the NJAC championship. The Red Hawks were unlikely favorites as they went on the road versus the number one and number two teams that year and came away with that coveted NJAC title. Leaders such as Haley Merrill and Courtney Matlock led the team in kills, allowing Montclair to go 13-0 at home that very same year and gave MSU Volleyball a season for the record books. I'm Sonny Bartell. See you next week on Inside the Nest.